Our first inductee, one of the greatest long distance runners in UMass history, an All-American, an All-New England champion, as well as an Atlantic 10 champion. She still holds the indoor record for the 3,000 meters to this day. And as you saw during the video, she was a winner of marathons at Houston and Miami during her professional career. Please welcome Kelly Liljeblad. Thank you. It's such an honor to be here today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ryan and Jason, for all the emails. And my sister and I were supposed to actually come up last spring, but due to a family emergency, we were unable to come. And I was so excited to be invited back to be here today. So thank you so much for having me back. Um, it's so great to be back. Kim and I drove in today. And you know we're walking through the campus. And of course, we had like crazy smiles on our faces. The kids were probably looking at us like, oh my God, look at these old dorky ladies, you know? And we're just like, we just had such smiles and we're looking around, we're like, oh my God, we're back home. Like, we're home, this is amazing. And we would look at each other and we say, you know, why would anyone go to any other university? Like, why? We just, we couldn't even, it's just unfathomable. So it's great to be back, thank you so much. Um, and what an honor it is. Um, I've had such an amazing time at UMass being an athlete and had the opportunity to be coached by Julie Lafreniere, who I still admire to this day for her um, coaching philosophy. She has taught me so much about the sport and about also me as a person and developing into the athlete that I was able to become after college. Um, one of the great things I think when I look back, you know, in preparing for the speech, which I really didn't do too much, unfortunately, um, was I was thinking back on my college days and, you know, and I was thinking all, a lot of the athletes that we ran with, like, they still run to this day. We, we all still run. And a lot of that, I believe, has to do with the coaches, Coach O'Brien and Julie and you know, they pushed us hard, and man, we worked hard, but we had fun. Like, we had so much fun, so much fun, and that drives you and keeps you going, and that's why a lot of us still, still are runners to this day. So I think, you know, thanks, Jules. It was great. So, um, yeah, my dream in college was to be a professional athlete. I just loved running. I, I truly believed I had what it took to be a professional athlete. And I got graduated college and I, I worked my butt off. I, I worked full time, but I still trained like a pro, but I wasn't getting paid or resting enough or eating healthy enough. And I finally got my first um, professional contract in 2003 with the Fila Discovery Program when they, I was one of five Americans chosen to go train at alt altitude and live the life of a professional athlete. And I just remember thinking, wow, like, I did it, like, I'm doing it. I looked up to people like Libby Hickman and Lynn Jennings, and I was just thinking like, I'm kinda like one of them now, that's weird. But um, yeah, I did it, and it was, I've had so much fun, and I am so, I have, I'm filled with so much gratitude for the life that I was given um, in my athletic career and all of my accomplishments. I've got to travel to all over the world to these places that I probably never would have been able to afford to go to if it wasn't for my sport. Um, it really helped bring me to where I am today and the person that I am today. And I think a lot of times when, when I was thinking about what to say, you know, you look at paper and, oh, yeah, I ran 232 marathon or I won this race or I won that race. But it's so much more than just that. You know, I think, I think about it, it's, it's not just about the stats, it's about the person that, that you become deep inside, you know, who you are. And um, I'm just filled with so much joy and happiness to, <clears throat> excuse me, to be here and um, to receive this honor. It's, I got a little emotional over there before, but um, thank you so very much, and, and thank you, everyone. Thank you, especially Julie and my, and my sister Kim. Thank you, Kim.